Today, I'm putting 32 all-time teams into the NFL in Madden 25. Players like Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski are back with the Patriots. Players like Randy Moss and Adrian Peterson are back on the Minnesota Vikings. Megatron, Calvin Johnson, and Barry Sanders will be joining a Lions team. And then you have players like Ray Lewis and Ed Reed are back on the Baltimore Ravens on defense. And here's a look at every single roster. Make sure to pause the video or slow it down. That way you can check out your favorite team. And in this video, I'm putting all 32 of these all-time teams into one franchise to see who walks away as the Super Bowl champion. Real quick, everyone, I just want to say that about 90% of the people watching this video right now are not even subscribed, so if you're enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And as I'm simulating to the regular season, comment down below which all-time team has taken this thing. And if we're going to do an all-time franchise, we're going to jump in with a few teams to start off week one that we're going to skip through the season. You got to start off with the GOAT, and that is Tom Brady. And in this all-time Patriots roster, for some reason, they're rocking with Ramondre Stevenson in the backfield. Now, not every single legend of all time is in this roster. I was able to download it and then create some players on my own. But you have guys like Wes Welker on this team with Brady, Julian Edelman. You have Rob Gronkowski. That's going to catch it over the middle of the field. Then on defense, you're going to have guys like Vince Wilfork. You're going to have a prime Stephon Gilmore coming back to this team and Ty Law, just to name a few. So Brady in a second and 18. Now, we do have some current players as well as all-time players, like I said. So we're going to have Brady making a throw over. I'm not sure. Julian Edelman's rocking the number 86 for some reason for this all-time Patriots team. So Edelman on the field now with a catch. Gronk has a catch as well. Will we see Wes Welker? And one more thing I guess I should mention since we're using Brady. We're not going to have Brady on the Buccaneers. There's only one Tom Brady here. So that means like one Randy Moss as well. One Terrell Owens. These players won't be playing for two different all-time franchises. Just one. The one that they are most known for. Brady's obviously more known for the Patriots and the Bucks, even though he has one Super Bowl with that. A third down. We got Gronk out there. Probably got Edelman. And over the middle, he's going to go to Antonio Gibson to pick up the first down. So we have the current Patriots running backs this year, Ramondre and Gibson. And then other than that, it's like all-time receivers for Tom Brady. And where will Tom go on a first and 10 to the end zone? He's picked off. Tom Brady, the GOAT, is picked in his first drive with the all-time teams. And now we are going to flip to the defensive side of the ball to watch the GOAT on defense with the New York Giants. You see number 56, bottom of your screen before that catch was made. Lawrence Taylor is out there. Fran Tarkenton is the quarterback for the Vikings. And Lawrence Taylor is going to try to get his hands on him. The greatest player ever on defense. Some people say even the greatest football player ever. Does have his hands full, though. You have Justin Jefferson, Randy Moss, Chris Carter, AP, Fran Tarkenton. I already named the Minnesota Vikings are definitely... A favorite to win this thing. There's going to be a lot of stacked teams here. But it's going to be hard to beat this offense. With the players they have. Fran Targeted incomplete. Lawrence Taylor, I believe, middle of the screen there. I could be wrong. I'm not 100%. Yes, he is in the middle. And that one's broken up. And we have a punt here. The greatest defensive player ever. And his defense get a stop on the Vikings. And the last game we are going to jump into for a drive in week one. It may be the all-time favorite to win this entire thing. Because the San Francisco 49ers all-time team is the most stacked team with the most 99 overalls. Them and the Patriots. They have Montana, Roger Craig, T.O., Jerry Rice. Just to name a few. Then you have guys like Trent Williams, George Kittle, that are 99 overalls on this all-time team. That are current players. And don't even get me started on defense with guys like Ronnie Lott. But Joe Montana has a case for the GOAT if he wins this video. 4-0 in Super Bowls when he played. If he somehow wins a fifth with Brady and Mahomes and Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, all those guys. And there's Terrell Owens making a grab. Joe Montana would be the GOAT if he goes 5-0 in Super Bowls and beats all those guys. We haven't seen a touchdown yet. This is the third team we're jumping in with. I know the last team was defense, but the Vikings still could have scored on them. But we got a first and 10 from the 13 for Montana. Roger Craig gets the call and he gets five. And now Joe Montana, second and five from the seven. Has George Kittle one-handed grab. What a catch by George Kittle. Touchdown 49ers. I expect him to be at the top of the standings. Here are the NFC standings halfway through the season. And here's a look at the AFC standings halfway through the season. Joe Montana is having an amazing season with all legend teams. 2,168 yards, 29 touchdowns to one interception. The leading rusher this season is Bo Jackson so far with 830 yards and nine touchdowns. Terrell Owens went a big grab when we jumped in with the 49ers at week one. 740 yards leads the league with 13 touchdowns and leading the league in sacks with 15 
Kane, halfway through the season is Jack Youngblood of the Rams. And here's a look at the AFC standings at the end of the season, and the Patriots missed the playoffs. And here's a look at the NFC standings with the 49ers being the one seed. And here are our 14 all-time teams to make the playoffs with the Steelers being the one seed in the AFC. And finishing the season with the most passing yards thrown for over 5,060 touchdowns to seven picks is Joe Montana, followed by Joe Burrow in second place, Drew Brees, John Elway, and Patrick Mahomes. With over 2,000 rushing yards is Bo Jackson and 28 touchdowns. Followed up by Jerome Bettis, Walter Payton, Adrian Peterson, and LaDainian Tomlinson. AJ Green of the Bengals ends the season with the most receiving yards, 1,659 and 20 touchdowns. Followed by Sterling Sharp, T.Y. Hilton, Michael Thomas, and Terrell Owens. And Javon Curse of the Tennessee Titans had 39 sacks. Wow. I mean, look at the sack numbers. Warren Sapp, 27. Claude Humphrey, 26. Jack Youngblood, 26. Deacon Jones, 25 and a half. And MVP obviously went to Joe Montana. And during the playoffs, I'll be jumping into one game of each round. And I'm going to start by jumping into Vikings Cowboys. Now, here's what I found interesting about the Cowboys. Instead of going with Roger Staubach or Troy Aikman, they went with Tony Romo at quarterback for this franchise. I left it all up to the CPU when it came to which players for each team to start. And Tony Romo just fumbled the football. He ran. That was the worst play ever. But obviously the Cowboys have one of the most stacked rosters in this thing. Michael Irvin, Emmett Smith, Tony Romo, I guess that quarterback. They even have Dez Bryant. They have Bullet Bob Hayes. They have a bunch of great players on offense and then on defense. But it's the Vikings defense that makes the stand. And because that Cowboys offensive drive was absolutely terrible, I want to jump in with the Vikings now. We saw them a little bit earlier against the Giants. We got Adrian Peterson on the ground. This team also very stacked. Not surprised to see either of these teams here. But I want to know in the comments down below. You have 14 playoff teams to choose from. Who is winning the Super Bowl? Fran Tarkenton is Chris Carter, Randy Moss, or Justin Jefferson to throw to. Who will he go to? He goes to Jay Jettas for the first down. It's crazy. When it's all said and done, the best wide receiver in Vikings history might be Justin Jefferson over Randy Moss or Chris Carter. They have to have the most stacked like wide receiver trio of all time. If I'm forgetting anybody, let me know in the comments down below, but I don't know how you beat them. I know Jerry Rice and T.O. are a duo, but you're missing that third guy. Fran Tarkenton, Micah Parsons on an all-time Cowboys team. He gets the sack. I still can't believe though the Patriots missed the entire playoffs with Tom Brady. That is crazy. So it's set up for Joe Montana to become the GOAT after this video. But Patrick Mahomes in this thing too. And there's a sack again on Tarkenton. With both defenses playing great. Let's skip through this game and see who's going to walk away with the win. As the Cowboys are up 10 to nothing. 17 nothing. Again, they're on the road here. But the Cowboys do not care. They have a stacked team. But the Vikings trying to make a comeback. If they get close, we'll jump in. But it doesn't look like they're going to. Because the Cowboys are going to win this thing. It got closer at the end. But 30-23, to 23, Dallas moves on. Looking at the AFC side of the bracket in round one. The Raiders beat Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. The Dolphins, led by Dan Marino, beat the Ray Lewis and Ed Reed Baltimore Ravens. And Phillip Rivers, LT, Antonio Gates, and those guys. The Chargers beat the Titans. Then for the NFC, the Legion of Boom is back for Seattle. As they beat the Eagles in round one. And Drew Brees in the... The Saints are going home courtesy of the greatest show on turf and the Rams. And in round number two, I want to jump in with the Steelers and the Chargers. So the Steelers went with Terry Bradshaw at quarterback over Ben Roethlisberger, Jerome Bettis, Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell on this team. And Pat Fryermuth is going to be their tight end for some reason. And then with guys like TJ Watt and Troy Palomalu on the other side, I can see why they're the number one seed. But the Chargers have a very good roster. They have great defensive players right now. You bring back their all-time players, then on offense, I mean, they have one of the best offenses in this video. But Phillip Rivers, LT, Antonio Gates. And let's see, pitch outside of Jerome Bettis. And Jerome Bettis is brought down third and five for the Steelers. By the bet, though, I'd probably take the 49ers to win this whole thing. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Steelers and the 49ers in the Super Bowl. Terry Bradshaw's all day. Now, not anymore, but he should take off, and he does. Finally, Terry Bradshaw, multiple times Super Bowl champion for the Steelers, gets a first down. I believe Terry has four Super Bowls. I could be wrong about that, but I think it's four Super Bowls. I think they almost three-peated like twice. But Terry... Get one more. This would be the biggest Super Bowl win of your life. And it's a touchdown for the Steelers. And that was a quick drive for the Steelers. So we're going to jump in with the Chargers to see what they can do against a Pittsburgh Steelers defense led by, like I said earlier, Troy Polamalu and TJ Watt. And the Steel Curtain as well. You can't forget about all those guys back in the 70s and 80s. And Phillip Rivers, what's he going to do against this Steelers vaunted defense? He's going to take off. Phillip Rivers, I 
can't believe he got hit so hard. How did he not fumble? I also wonder if like any of these teams made trades because I just left it all up to the CPU. I wonder if anybody traded an all-time player to a different team. That would be interesting. Phillip Rivers on a third down. This is not where you want to be. He's brought down this time. And the Chargers will punt. Let's see who wins. Chargers able to tie it up. It's 14 to 7 now. Steelers, they take the lead. They take the lead by 10. Chargers looking to close this game a little bit closer, but instead it's 24 to 7, 24 14. Now they're going back and forth with scores, but it might be too late. Wait, Chargers at the last second cannot score, and the Steelers are going to win it 30 to 22 in the divisional round. So the Pittsburgh Steelers, the one seed, are going to move on. And now our championship games are set. The Steelers and the Raiders and the Cowboys and the 49ers. And these are two rivalry games, but I am going to go with jumping into the 49ers and the Cowboys. So we have the 49ers we are jumping in with to start this game. Now they scored a touchdown earlier in the video back in week one when we jumped in with them. Can they do it again? There's the screen pass from Montana on a first down. But this is a vintage rivalry matchup. Late 80s, early 90s. These two teams were going at it for Super Bowls in NFC Championship games. And there's the run. And we're going to get inside about the 15, 16 yard line. And we're going to see Jerry Rice catch a ball, though. No Rice catch that I've seen on my screen, at least. Roger Craig tackled by Micah, but there's a flat. And that's a holding call that's going to back the 49ers up to first and 20 at the 26. Will we see Jerry Rice now? This is a passing situation. Mike is trying to get loose for a sack. Montana looking to scramble, and he's got room to run, and he just got a lot of it back. Just don't fumble, Joe. He's second and four, picked up 16. Montana looking to get seven. Third and one to the end zone, out of bounds. He was looking for John Taylor, and they're going to go for this one. I mean, you have to. You're fourth and one from the seven. You should have had a touchdown. How could you not go? Will he go to his man, Jerry Rice? Montana to Rice. Touchdown 49ers just like they did so many times. Let's see. Can the Cowboys match? Yes, they can. It's a 7-7 seven seven game. 49ers go and get a touchdown. Cowboys get three. 49ers get another touchdown. Cowboys get a touchdown. These are two juggernauts going at it right now. It's 21-17 into the third quarter. 28-17. 35-17. If this gets close, we're going to jump in, but I don't think it really will. We'll see. Cowboys are down 11. Okay, actually, they're in the red zone. We're going to jump in and see. Can Tony Romo and the Cowboys make this a one-possession game? They need a touchdown, and then a two-point conversion would make it a field goal game. Tony Romo, three minutes on the clock. Dump it up to Emmett Smith. He gets to the 10. And now Romo, third and three. To the end zone. Incomplete. Will they take three and then try to get a stop and the touchdown? Yes, they will. So this will make it an eight-point game. Engine builds. Roger Craig to carry. Roger Craig the first down. This game is over. 49ers to the Super Bowl. A 35 to 27 win. Let's see who they're taking on. The Pittsburgh Steelers made it out of the AFC. And as we saw in the NFC Championship game, here come the 49ers. We start with Joe Montana with the ball to kick off this Super Bowl of all-time teams. Montana. Going outside, going to hit his man, and going to get second and four. That was a tight end, Vernon Davis. You partner him with George Kittle, that's got to be one of the best tight end combos that we have for these rosters. And Montana, second and four, going to deliver, and he's going to hit Jerry Rice for first. It doesn't look like anybody could stop this 49ers offense, not even the Steel Curtain. With TJ Watt added and Troy Polamalu added. I don't think anybody could stop this 49ers offense. Montana, though, actually, never mind. Oh, my goodness, Joe Montana. Oh, he fumbled, though. I mean, he was due. He tried to get too crazy, and the Steelers, I guess, can stop the 49. Oh, we're going to jump over with Terry Bradshaw and the Steelers, and he's going to hit his man, Antonio Brown, is back in the Super Bowl for the all-time Steelers. So the Steelers are able to get that stop. That is big because we don't know how many there's going to be in this game. Oh my, what a hit by Patrick Willis on Jerome Bettis, but Bettis still got positive yardage. Got this 49ers defense that's going to add a guy like Nick Bosa. Middle linebackers are so good. I don't even know if Fred Warner's really on the team. Jerome Bettis, third and 15. I would probably put Fred Warner with Patrick Willis, though, but you could let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Patrick Willis right now, Hall of Famer, new Hall of Famer, third and 15 for the 49ers. And a sack on Terry Bradshaw. It's Alden Smith. Now we simulate. The 49ers do strike first with a touchdown. I saw more out of the 49ers defense than the Steelers. They did get that fumble, though. But the 49ers moved the ball pretty easily on the Steelers the first time around. This game is slowing up. 
It's 21-7. Will the 49ers take a three-possession lead? The all-time San Francisco 49ers dominate the all-time Pittsburgh Steelers in this all-time Super Bowl 35-7. Congratulations. We got an all-time Gatorade bath. Roger Craig, Ronnie Lott out there, Joe Montana. And the Steelers are not happy. But Patrick Willis getting hoisted by his teammates, Joe Montana, in a post-game interview. Are they asking him if he's the GOAT now 5-0 and in Super Bowls? Randy Moss, how are you here, man? You were playing for the Vikings. Now all of a sudden you're bringing up the Lombardi? I don't know about that, but that's okay. Kyle Shanahan on the podium with Roger Craig. Who won Super Bowl MVP? I guess Roger Craig won Super Bowl MVP. But it's going to be Kyle Shanahan. I guess he needs an all-time team to win the Super Bowl. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.